hello friends it's time to create our first kotlin project so i am very excited let's go and launch intellij idea uh, once you launch intellij idea you will see a screen like this and then you will see different options uh, <clears throat> here the intellij idea version will be uh, shown and it is 2017 1.4 you can create a new project you can also import a project you can open an existing project or you can check out from a version control such as github uh, so in this lecture we will be creating a brand new project so here i am clicking create new project uh, now you have to select kotlin and then kotlin jvm java virtual machine as we are uh, working with kotlin so click next uh, here you have to write the project name so i will name it as first project and uh, here you have to select the project sdk and you have to select the java jdk path uh, if that is uh, not present by default what can you do is you can click new and then right here come to c c then program files c program files in program files you have to select uh, java and then jdk this uh, package and you have to click ok so this will be populated once you do this uh, then you click finish and your project will be created it will take a short time here the our project is created you can see first project over here click on this arrow and you will see a src package or a folder here right click on this click new and new kotlin file uh, let uh, say it is named as first i gave it the name first and then click ok so this is our first kotlin file first dot kt kt means it is a kotlin file and this is a comment so in order to write a program we need a main function so i will write main and then press enter so here the main function will be generated by the ide uh, itself uh, fun means that it is a function and the name of the function is main and here uh, the uh, this is an argument of type array uh, so i will explain these things in the future when will we uh, when we will study functions arrays and all those stuff uh, but for this program you will need this main function so just what you have to do is simply write main and press enter so this will be automatically generated for you now let us print hello world to the screen for this i will write print and then i will write in double quotes hello world what we write here in double quotes is called a string so now we have to launch run this program for that i will click run and then run first kt it will take a bit of time and once the app is launched uh, we will see the output in another window and this hello world will be displayed as the output of this program you can see hello world here it is the program has been executed now let me print something else with it print uh, hello let's say from intellilogics let me run it again you can also run your project from here click on this icon and then run first dot kt the program will be executed again and you will also see hello world and from intellilogics but you can see that from intellilogics is also printed after hello world the reason is print prints this string and the cursor remains on the same line in order for the cursor to go to the next line you have to write here print ln print line let me launch it again 
and now you will see hello world and from IntelliLogix in two separate lines hello world and from IntelliLogix so ln moves the cursor to the new or the next line uh, if you have any question regarding this or you have any issues with the installation of uh, IntelliJ IDEA JDK do write in the comment section I will try to sort out your issues and solve them. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for next lecture.